Definitely, definitely. Well, over in Defuniac Springs, I think another tough game, Sam. The Walton Braves really with a terrific challenge as they hosted the reigning 1A state champion. So let's see how the Walton Braves matched up with the Baker Gators. Early on, Walton's Keontae Miller avoids the pressure and dumps it off to DeMarque Good, who cuts up field, slips by one defender and check this out. The stiff arm at the end of the run. This Walton crowd was hyped up tonight. Then later on that drive, the Braves hand off to Jameer Campbell and the shifty back sidesteps a tackle and tacks on six. After the extra point, Walton jumped out to a quick seven and nothing lead. And Campbell wasn't done, folks. A couple plays later, he says, keep on feeding me. Weaving through the Gators defense and taking defenders with him all the way to the end zone. And whoops, loses possession here at the end. But Cornelius McKenzie there to clean up the mess. And in the first First quarter, Walton jumps out to a 14-0 lead. After that, the Baker offense finally gets it going. Tanner Kimbrell fakes the handoff, finds Garrett McClendon in the flat. He does the rest, getting the first down and then some deep into Walton territory. Later on that drive, McClendon comes through again, this time inching the ball just over the goal line to cut Walton's lead to 14-7. But it would be all Braves in this one, and they pull off the upset. They beat the Gators 38 to seven tonight, a huge win for Walton, especially against a talented Baker team this year. Right, and 38 to seven, that wouldn't really indicate an upset, but just an absolute dominant performance there 